calling on spirit, please, for some love vibes. Calling on spirit for some love. Who do you want to talk to about love for November 2022? Calling on spirit, please. Give us a loving vibe. Who do you want to talk to? You want to talk to a Cancer, a Scorpio, or a Pisces? Somebody who could be involved with someone younger, someone of the same gender, maybe someone of the same gender that's younger. Water sign. If you're dealing with an air sign, something about love, this could be your message. Welcome back, subscribers. Welcome, new people. Stick around. Let's see what we've got. We've got the good old broken heart, three of swords. It's like we have a little bit of a situation on the table. I'm just wondering what's going on, probably. Um, you have questions, I might have some answers. Through spirit, somebody is sad, very sorrowful. Um, somebody could be having a fight. There's definitely a lot of sorrow. All right. Let's get down to it. Calling on spirit. What do you want them to know? What do you want them to know? Thank you. take it it was just it was two and that's perfect I wanted three anyways do you want our water sign friends to know this younger person versus you And you could be the younger person. They could be older. There doesn't have to be an age difference. It's just the energies. In fact, I would say if you're dealing with a, uh, what is that? An, a positive air energy? Let's look. Yeah, again, you, you are the positive. Wait, you're negative. You're negative. They're going to be. Uh, positive energy, Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius, and again, you will be the negative energy. So, uh, yin yang, a partner, very close, having to do with love. Someone really values this connection water energy really values this connection um, the emotional connection and it's a reflection that you're in a romantic phase wanting to be in that romantic phase someone recently became engaged or moved in together. Maybe we moved back in together. So maybe that state of romantic bliss where your relationship takes a new and positive step forward. This is what spirit wants you to know. In order for it to and or it's gonna. Because there hasn't been a lot of romance that romantic, emotional love, right? This 
other energy, this positive energy, this other person is really detached and uh, is always taking their me time, right? They have a lot of rules. They're kind of stern, you know. think someone who uh, you guys are involved and someone who shows an interest in you but has trouble conveying his emotions so someone has so having troubles conveying our emotions in that making it hard to feel like we're just really romantic and in love and then the kids go and get in the way right <laughs> for some they do it's no laughing matter but it's kind of cute so this might suggest that someone's going to be looking forward to uh, the future growth and the development of this relationship, yes. And somebody is also going to sense a lot of potential for the future together. But, with this being a page, someone's are starkly aware that someone's only at the start of that journey. And that a lot needs to happen before we can be lifelong partners. It's like, a lot needs to happen right now right before you're willing to trust them in that okay let's go ahead and call on spirit to clarify what proof there is that this message is true what proof is there that this message is true Proof is there that this message is true? What oh, proof is there that this message is true? Let's move everybody up. All right. Proof is there that this is true. Overcoming your problems and facing uh, leaving. Want to go to a better place for someone? would be a lot more satisfying and if you have felt that and that resonates spirit is that the seven of swords all swords two swords in the sun yeah having new plans facing very powerful opposition though it's really hard to get out of this, can't get out of this. Wanting to. Kind of planning to. If that helps prove the message is true, let's call on spirit now. Emotionally, how will water energy benefit? Emotionally, how will water energy benefit? Please. How will you benefit emotionally?
I guess you'd like to see some cards. I'm going to have to reposition camera. Bear with me. Thank you. All right. Emotionally, how will we benefit? Very well. Oh my gosh, it was. It was Seven of Cups and now the Seven of Swords and your benefit is to make a new plan. So we haven't, somebody hasn't really been planning. I mean, it's come, it's coming to fruitation now. It's actually happening. Gonna happen. What was going on was we were feeling it. You know, now we're thinking it. We was feeling it. Now we're thinking it. Having a lot of stuff happen. Emotionally benefiting. Very talented in applying someone's self with energy and your efforts will be rewarded. That's how. Dedicating and improving your relationship and wanting your relationship and working together. That may be that someone needs to devote more time to their loved ones. Or it may even be that someone's seeking professional guidance to continually improve your connections, you know, with other people. Which would be counseling. making significant change and coming in November 2022 for love change is inevitable change is certain I guess we should say <laughs> changing that up balancing that out becoming more healthy so counseling is always a healthy way Definitely applying yourself. I see that coming up. There could be issues of abuse, addiction, and often little that can be done but to end an unhappy relationship for some of you guys. Okay, so remember that you always have choices. But there is a tight bond between two individuals here on the table. We started out with the... You know, King of Cups and the Knight of Swords with the Three of Swords right between them two. Yeah. Somebody's very tuned into their intuition here to find if the relationship is good and if it's going to be good enough for you. But somebody's got a lot of proven themselves to do. I did see that too. All right. How you will emotionally benefit someone accepting, you know, walking away, breaking it up because it's a bad relationship. And then others go into counseling for ourself and then, or, you know, as a couple to work on those addictions and all of that, work on that codependency that would help emotionally. there okay what do you want this person to do when they find out spirit what do you want this water energy to do when they find out what do you want them to do we saw how you could emotionally benefit this is how you will so if you're already doing that this will help further the reading and the message to what do we need to do when we find out all right. Thank you. Let's get a shuffle on that and grab one more. I see judgment and the three of wands. Thank you. And the ace of cups. So 
Here we see what spirit wants you to do when you find this out. Take a look back and reconsider and reconsider your actions. So we might reconsider this relationship, right? Reconsider what we can do to stay together. And we must forgive the other person before they're going to forgive us. We did see that. Here somebody's got a lot to prove. Um, they want you to forgive so that you can be forgiven. Which we might have deeper wounds. What else can we do here? Get really creative, you know. You have power in this connection and this love. In this love reading. That's what we're talking about. You got to tell somebody that you love them. You got to find a way to express that. Show them that. Your inspiration turns more into a practical reality. So the more you tell them that you love them, the more love is going to start coming in. You know, we're waiting for somebody to tell us that they love us, right? But you got to be the one to do it. Evidently. As we have a very young relationship on the table. We have a very young person in a relationship on the table. Okay? And what that means for me or for and for you and, and what we're trying to get across here the message from spirit it could mean that Someone will rediscover the early sparks of romance that brought you together. Okay. But what I'm seeing is that someone wants that. And Spirit's telling you if that's what you want, you've got to give that. Right. So we're waiting for them to do that for us. We want them to say, I love you. We want them to. We're waiting. We've been in that very judgmental phase, right? They've got to prove themselves to me. They've got to come, you know, they've got to make the first move for many of you again. In that judgment phase. So making the moves. Is what I see. And that desire. To constructively express. And convey your emotions to each other. Yeah you both need to create. An open and safe place. To show yourselves and experience. That raw emotion. Because that raw emotion. Is rumbling beneath the surface. And you both need to create an open space. Um, spirit proving that it's not all on you. Okay. But healthily, if you were to and constructively uh, say I love you first and, and, and make some moves, I do believe that would come around to you. Right? Possibly so. So what do we do when we find out? Open your heart and allow yourself to feel good, to feel that love. you got to open your heart to this loving partner. Almost if you're dating for the first time. Create that vibe and that energy. And then for many of you, 
I do believe since you are the dark on the yin yang and this energy is the white and the light, they're going to do that. They're going to kick it in second gear as well and then kick it into third and making some moves almost as if you guys are dating for the first time. Both of you recognizing the importance of listening to your heart. Both of you is the energy forecasted coming in. Spirit wants you to both do that. Very possibly happening in fall coming in as we move in November 2022 and your shared emotion connection only draws you closer together. So as long as we can find that shared connection, it will only draw you closer together in that love. All right. Sounds good. Good luck in your love life. Check back. Subscribe. If you want to get more readings, please hit that like button. And until next time, Shalom.